There are a few different ways to add YouTube videos to Schoology, sort of a basic and advanced method. The advanced method is a few more clicks, but allows you to disable those annoying and often inappropriate related videos from being displayed at the end of the video you are embedding. So it's well worth those extra clicks in my opinion. To begin, you need to be in your Schoology course. And as a reminder, make sure you're always using folders to organize your content. I want my video in this unit one folder, so I will click on it to go into that folder. If you wanna add a YouTube video to Schoology, you first need to create a page to put it on. Use the Add Materials button and choose Add Page. Once created, title the page and add any information you want your students to see. Now I want to add my YouTube video right here on the page between my two text items. So it's time to head over to YouTube to get my video. If you are a Jeffco teacher, you will need to bypass the iBoss filter to get to the real YouTube if working from school. Here's the video I want. This video does have an ad at the beginning of it and pop-up messages that play during it. And I will show you what will and won't come along with it when I add it to Schoology. The first step is just to copy the address of this video. As long as you are on the video's view page, you can just copy the address at the top of the page in the address bar. Or you can use the share button that is below the video to get its address. Once I have the address, I just pop back into Schoology. I'm going to put my cursor where I would like the video to appear and then choose the insert content button on the toolbar. You will see that I have added YouTube as a resource app. So a YouTube option appears right here. You can go into your resources and select the apps option to add YouTube and a variety of other apps, which sort of streamlines this process. But if you've not yet added YouTube as a resource app, just choose select image slash media. From here, I can either upload a video file from my computer, but since this YouTube video is on the web, I will choose the from the web option. On this tab, I can either add a link to an image or media. Since a video is considered media, I will choose that option. And then I just simply paste in that link to the YouTube video right here. Choose insert media, and I can see that something has been added to my page. I can center it, remove any spacing, add some more directions, but to truly see if this is indeed my video, I need to click the Create button. I will click on the title of my new page to view it, and here is what my embedded video looks like. When I click Play, that advertisement that was before the video has been dropped, which is great, but I will still get those pop-up messages or call-outs that you sometimes see during a video. However, they can quickly be minimized or eliminated by clicking the X in the corner of the call-out. The one thing about this basic method that I really don't like happens at the end of the videos. If I fast forward to the end of the video and let it finish, you will see that YouTube serves up a thumbnail panel of suggested videos for me to watch next. And I have no control over which videos are presented here to my students. Even though the suggested videos are often fine, sometimes they are inappropriate, and I've had a few unpleasant surprises happen this way. I'd rather not have YouTube recommend any more videos to my students, and the only way to disable this feature is to use the embed code for this video. This takes a few more clicks, but the process is pretty simple, so let me show you this second method. So for option two, you again start by creating or using an existing page that you've initially created using the Add Materials button. I'm just going to use the same page I already made, so I'm going to use the gear icon to edit this page. Now let's go back to YouTube, where my video lives. Beneath the video is a share button or tab, and this lists the link to share the video. Choose that share button and then click on the word embed. Before you copy the embed code that's generated by YouTube, we need to make sure to turn off those suggested videos. And YouTube has made this option a little bit harder to find lately. You will need to click show more to bring up the embedding choices. Make sure to uncheck the box that says show suggested videos when the video finishes. Once that is done, Copy the embed code, making sure you grab all of it. I click once in the box and then choose Control A to select all, and then I copy the embed code. Now I will go back to my Schoology page. I can still use the insert content button and choose image slash media from the web, media, and instead of pasting in the link, I just paste in the customized embed code. 
Another place to put that copied code is just to use the toggle bar at the far right of the toolbar to switch to HTML. And then you can scroll to the end of the code and paste in your embed code here. I then switch back to visual view using that same toggle. And now when I save my changes and fast forward to the end of the video I added using the embed code, I do not get any suggested videos. The video just ends and queues itself up to start right again. So if you're not comfortable working with embed code, just go with that first option and insert your videos by using their address. But if suggested videos become a problem, simply copy the embed code from YouTube after you've unchecked the option for suggested videos. Embedding videos in Schoology instead of having students view them on YouTube provides for a much cleaner, clutter-free viewing environment, and embedding is a copyright compliant method for sharing videos, making this a perfect strategy for sharing videos with your students.